Good morning, teachers. So I've been on the road and I've enjoyed having some opportunity to actually visit and meet other teachers, talk about curriculum a little bit. I've also been interviewing some students for my alma mater. And here again, it's fun to talk to the new generation because they already understand and use a lot of the tools that I've been suggesting we incorporate. It's not because of my suggesting, but because we all think like each other in a lot of ways. It's like there's obvious no-brainer things to be doing to improving the curriculum. And I've been out there sort of stridently talking about all this repression of these great ideas. But over time, what starts to seem normal is what used to seem um, kind of out of this world, I guess. In other words, the changing that I've been pushing is starting to become the more the norm. The exception is becoming the rule and so forth. So I'm, I'm less alienated, you could say, in seeing what's going on. I'm seeing that, you know... The topics I thought we should be starting to pick up more, we are. Now, it's still a minority of schools, for example, that have any sense of this nomenclature I'm scrolling through at the moment about the beast modules. We could just use that as a mnemonic, right? B-E-A-S-T, those are actually separate names for separate modules. And there's a lot of scoffing still about incorporating any of Bucky Fuller's nomenclature into the mainstream. It's one of those not invented here syndrome. Like he's not a certified doctorate in mathematics. And so we're not going to use his nomenclature all that much because, you know, that would sort of be against the rules of the guild or something like this. But that's just a trivial minority at this point who think that way. And we don't really care if they don't want to teach this stuff. We still can and still do. So there's really no inhibitory effect from these so-called skeptics or whatever. The holdouts who don't want to teach anything about the concentric hierarchy or even Jupiter notebooks, right? We don't have to worry that's not, they're not in our way. We're going ahead. So all is well is what I'm saying. Be happy. All right. Talk to you later.